Oh, matter of fact, before we go in and watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. And then you're gonna be doing what with the children as well? Yeah. Teaching them. You're going to be teaching them. Now go back to Deuteronomy chapter seven, yes, verse five. Read. Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse five. Uh -huh. No, four. Verse four. Verse four. For they will turn away thy son from following me. Because the woman's job is to guide the house. If the woman's job is to guide the house, what is the white woman gonna do to your children? If you have children with a white woman, what is, how is she going to guide the children? Take care of them. Take care of them. Nah, she's she not going to take care of them. She's not going to take care of them. What holidays do you celebrate? Every, every one of them. Nah, give me one. Give last one week. Time. Last week. Thanksgiving. No, you said Thanksgiving, right? Yeah. What would you celebrate last Sunday? Last Sunday? Yeah. I didn't celebrate nothing. July 4th? You ain't celebrate July 4th? I did. You celebrate Christmas? No. You don't celebrate New Year's? No. But you celebrate Thanksgiving? Yes, I do. That's the problem right there. The white woman is going to teach your children to celebrate the destruction of your own people. That's, right. That's why the Bible says that we cannot marry the heathen nations. Right. We cannot marry the heathen nations. Now keep reading verse 4. For they will turn away thy son from following me, uh -huh. that they may serve other gods. Other gods are going to teach to serve Thanksgiving, to teach to serve a birthday, a new year on January 1st, which really worships a Greek god called Janus. Teach. Uh, July 4th to celebrate the... Uh, sister, did, did you celebrate July 4th? You did? Y'all celebrated July 4th? Okay. So the celebration of July 4th is a, is a commemoration of July 4th, 1776. What are you celebrating? What were we, hey, John, don't listen. That's the devil right there. That's what are you celebrating? On July 4th, 1776, what, what were our people doing? Celebrate. We were slaves. Grandma, Grandma, Joseph, Joseph. are we distracting or are we Joseph. teaching over there? We teaching. Well, I'm the teacher, so you need to be over here if you're trying to learn. So July 4, 1776, what were our people doing? I'm sorry? We were slaves. So how were we celebrating Juneteenth two weeks ago, and then two weeks later, we were slaves on July 4th? You see how foolish our people are? That's right. We got to repent from our ways of sin, come back to the Bible, and keep God's commandments. Right. And these are the things that the white woman would teach the children if you marry outside of your race. Right. But guess what? America has been like a mother to our people and taught many different things that God has not taught. Mm -hmm. God never taught you to celebrate July 4th right. Right. or January 1st or uh, Thanksgiving, or December 25th. Right, right. God never taught you in any of these things. Right. Your real mother, go back to Ephesians, go back to Galatians, go back to Galatians. Your real mother taught you to celebrate different customs. So you gotta return back to your real mama. America's not your mama. Right. America's been like a foster parent that taught you all sorts of evil. That's right. Read that again. Galatians chapter four, verse 26. Uh -huh. But Jerusalem, which is above is free, free, which is the mother of us all. Jerusalem is the mother of us all. So go, go back to Timothy chapter 5, verse 14. We got to let our real mother bear her children and guide her own house. That's what we must allow these scriptures to do. Read that again. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 14. Uh -huh. I will, therefore, that the younger women marry, read. bear children. We are the children of Jerusalem. The Bible just says she's the mother of us all. Read. Guide hey, hey, the hey. house. The, she must guide the house. Okay, 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 okay. The scriptures say that she must guide the house. Read. Give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. That's the adversary over there. He's speaking reproachfully. Why can he speak reproachfully? Because we, we can't, like you can't say that's your enemy when you celebrated his holiday last week. That, that's your master right there. That's your, if that's not your master, you got to stop celebrating July 4th, birthdays, Christmas, Thanksgiving. You got to say to hell with all of that. So we've already said to hell with all of that. 
This is what Jerusalem has taught us, Leviticus chapter 23. This is what the mother of us all has already taught us. Now, now, sister, the scriptures say when the seed of the word gets planted, immediately Satan comes. Go, go ahead, hold that. Go to Mark 5. Go ahead, go to Mark 5. Ain't nothing coming for him but Christ and, and whips and chains. That's all that's coming for him. I, I really didn't want to have to go in on him, but I, I just might have to. Give me Mark chapter 4. You got what I want? Bring that up. The book of Mark, chapter 4, verse 14. Uh -huh. The sower soweth the word. You know, hey, sister, sister. The scripture says that the sower soweth the word. Who's the sower? Christ. Look at me. He's the sower. And he's using us to sow the word. Read. Verse 15. And these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. The word is being sown right now. This is the word of God. It's being sown in Petersburg, Virginia. Read. But. When they have heard, Satan, who? Satan. The scriptures say that Satan, I want everybody to look at my finger right here. I'm pointing at Satan right now. What does he do? Cometh immediately. He came immediately. As soon as the young brother John, the revelation you got in Revelation 1 and 1, the Bible says as soon as you got that, Satan came immediately and did what? And take us away. He's trying to take it away. He, see, the way he's acting got your grandma ready to leave. You know what? But you still got more scriptures, more history that you want. Say it again. You know what? You got We're talking about what? Drunkards? Edomites or what? White people? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Well, him, that's not mental. That's spiritual. Read. And take it the way the word uh -huh. that was sown in their hearts. Don't let Satan take away the word that was sown in your heart. But look, I want you to understand why this brother is Satan. Go to Revelation 12. That's right. Go to Revelation 12. That old serpent, which is called Satan. That's what the Bible says. The red dragon. She started talking about him. You see his face? Sister, is that brother white? I'm white dragon. No, he's not white. Look at his face. What color is his face? Okay. It's red. That was an optical illusion. That was a trick. That was a trick bag they put on you for that man to be called white. He was never white. Bring this up. Revelations chapter 12, verse 3. Verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil. This is ridiculous. The devil, which is called what? And Satan. And what? Which deceiveth the whole world. So the Bible says that this guy, Satan, the How's this the guy? World. I got a name. You What's a your name? name? Satan. Your name is Satan. Right. My name is Satan. Three. Verse 3. Uh -huh. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. Uh -huh. And behold, a great red dragon. Zoom in on her. You the great red dragon? My right? name is Satan. Yeah, that's you. You, you the know great what? red dragon. You're right? ridiculous. Oh. Having you seven bodyguards. heads uh -huh. and you got two ten bodyguards. horns uh -huh. you and cannot seven talk to crowns upon his Hey, I'm going to show you why you the red safe. dragon. Go to Genesis chapter 25. Bring Come on. Genesis chapter Bring 25. Why are you the red dragon? Bring why are you the devil? Why are you Satan? Check I this am out. the devil. Bring, I'm Genesis. Don't, don't chapter bring you around here. By, you says, better go back around there. You just said it out of your own mouth. You are the devil. What? Why do you have to you have bodyguards? Genesis chapter 25, verse 25. Uh -huh. And the first came out red. What? Yes, came out red. The first came out red. You not, You not white. You know what? I'm gonna call you my brother. What color am I? Because you my ancient fraternal. What brother. color are you? I'm white. I'm brown. I'm the dust of the ground. Hey, right. you know, right. I'm the dust of the ground, and you Susan, red. Susan Keep reading. All over, uh -huh. like, like an hairy garment. Like a hairy garment. There's nobody more hairy than a white man. Really? The caveman. You got more hair on your chin than I do. That's because the Lord commands me to have hair on my chin. Oh, okay. Right, right. My chest and my back. I ain't got it like you got it. Right. I ain't come out that caucus mountain like you did. Right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Keep reading. And they called his name. Esau! You are Esau. Why are you laughing? Hey, you Kevin are man. Esau. Give me Kevin Malachi man. 1 and 4. Kevin the Bible says you're you the border of wickedness. Why are you laughing? And all you got is a thousand years of slavery coming a hard I bondage. Right. We got four, five hundred years, you getting a thousand. Right. You get a whole band. That's what you're getting. You're the, you're the band man. You get a whole, a whole band. Esau, you the band man. Give me Malachi 1 and 4. <laughs> Malachi! Chapter That's 1, right. verse 4. Uh -huh. Whereas Edom, Edom saying, uh -huh. we are impoverished, Read. but we will return and build the desolate places. You, your people rebuilt the desolate my places. People. Yeah, Who your people. My people. The white people, the so-called white people. What the hell? The red You've been people. here just as long as I have, so what the hell you mean? Yeah, we. now you were born first. Right. Indians so here. here. Indians was here. Read, those are our people. Read. Hey, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, you know what? they shall build, but 
I will throw down. You know, you know Price is gonna throw down everything like, that you get rebuilt from the time don't of the Renaissance right. all the way up to right now. Read. Yeah, and they shall guard. call them the, the border of wickedness. Him. Why are you the border of wickedness? Because you're the right. beginning you're and the end of you're wickedness. Not me. Huh? You're, you're the beginning and the end of well, wickedness. When you came into this earth, you were sinful. You were you were a liar from birth. You are a murderer from the beginning. Really? I'm yeah. a murderer? And then when you, when Christ gets rid of you, all the sin is going to be rid out of the Keep earth. Right. Go with, uh, did I finish that? Nope. Keep finishing. And the people against... The what? The people... So Edom, the so-called white man, are the people... Against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. Right. God got an issue with you forever. Right. Forever. Don't That's why you're going to have to be wiped off the face of the earth forever. Earth. Christ going to take you and all of your people Come off the on. face of this earth. Off the face forever. of this earth. Forever. Come on. Forever. I'm going to show it to I'm you, too. It. Just wait till we get to it. Give me first. Give Give me. me. Uh, give me Isaiah 14. Now give me Isaiah Esau. chapter 14. What are you talking about? Come on, Esau. About Come get this verse, Esau. Esau. Come back to the front. Read. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Uh -huh. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. The Bible says the Lord is going to have mercy on our people. He ain't having no mercy on you. He ain't having no mercy on you. We could turn it around. The Bible says turn around. The Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Read. And will yet choose Israel. He's still going to choose us. It won't matter how long America... Hold your peace, bro. Hold your peace. You ain't got to say nothing to him. Just look at him in the face. Read. And set them in their own land. Christ is going to set us in our land. Read. And the strangers. You the stranger. Read. Shall be joined with them. You're going to be joined with us. But what you going to be doing? Read. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. You're going to cleave to us. But let me show you what it means to cleave to. Give me Ruth chapter 1 verse 14. We're going to give you all the sense. We're going to give you all the verses. The scriptures say the so-called white man, the so-called Arab man, the so-called Chinese, the so-called Japanese. All y'all going to have to cleave to us. That's right. Every last one of y'all going to have to cleave to us. Turn back around. We got some brothers trying to get edified. Everybody going to have to cleave to us. All these other nations that oppressed us here in Babylon the Great, you're going to have to cleave to us. Give me Ruth. Chapter 1, uh -huh. start at verse 14. Read. Ruth, chapter 1, verse 14. Uh -huh. And they lifted up their voice uh -huh. and wept again. Read. And Orpha kissed her mother-in-law. Uh -huh. But Ruth cleaves unto her. Ruth. Ruth. Ruth did what? Ruth cleaves unto her. So that's past tense of the same word that we read about in the prophecy. The other nations are going to cleave to us the same way Ruth a Moabite clave to one of our foremothers. Right. Read. Let's see exactly what that looked like. Read. Ruth. Verse 15. Chapter 1 verse 15. Come on. And she said, Behold thy sister-in-law is gone back unto her people uh -huh. and unto her God. So, thy, so Ruth's sister went back to her people and went back to her gods. So the sister didn't cleave, Ruth cleave. Let's see what that looked like, read. Return thou after thy sister-in-law. And Ruth said, entreat me not to leave thee. Don't make me leave because she was trying to cleave. That's what the scriptures say that Ruth was cleaving unto Naomi, read. Or to return from following after thee. Read. For whither thou goest, I will go. This is what it means for the other nations to cleave to us. Wherever we go, they gotta go. If we keep in tabernacles, they got to keep tabernacles. If we keep in the Sabbath, they got to keep the Sabbath. If we not eating pork, they not eating pork either. Read. I will go, and where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people. They going to have to live exactly how we live. Read. And thy God. And thy what? Thy God. And our God. My God. Is going to have to be their God. Uh, We're going to be like gods to the other nations. Right. They're going to have to cleave to us. Everything that they want, they're going to have to come to us to get it. And if they don't keep tabernacles, they don't get no rain. You're going to die of a drought. Right. Right. And after all that said, and go back to uh, Isaiah chapter 14. Isaiah chapter 14, I think we were at verse 2. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 2. And the people shall take them uh -huh. and bring them to their place. We're going to bring all the mother nations, including the so-called white man, right back to their place. Read. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. So the scripture says we are going to possess these other nations. What does the word possess mean? Take. I don't know if that right there means. That means take. It means to take. It means to own. The Bible says that if you repent and get salvation when Christ returns, 
you are going to own that white man that was over here running his mouth. Right. You're going to own him, read. In the land of the Lord. Uh -huh. For servants. For what? For servants and handmaids. So the scriptures say for servants and handmaids, which means all these other nations must be slaves to you, me, her, him, if we keep God's commandments. That's, right. That's what the Bible says. Now jump over to Revelation. Is that it? Keep finished. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. So we must take them captives. The people that had us in captivity must go into captivity. Read. And they shall rule over their oppressor. We will rule over the white man that ruled over us in Babylon. Right. Right. We will rule over the Arab man that sold us the bad food. Teach. We will rule over the so-called Asians, uh, which is called Moab, that gave us dog meat instead of real beef like we were supposed to have. Read. Verse 3. Yes, sir. So for 2. All right, now go, uh, go to Revelation chapter 20 and verse 1. I think that's what I want. Revelation chapter 20 and verse 1. Because I keep saying something, but I got to bring the scripture out. I got to bring the scripture out. Revelation chapter 20, verse 1. Read. Revelation chapter 20, verse 1. Because the, the servants and handmaids that we just read about, when the white man go into slavery, he got a thousand year clock that's going to be ticking. And at the end of that, he's done for. He's Read. finished. Read. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit uh -huh. and a great chain in his hand. Who is this chain for? The so-called white man. It's for, the, it's for that old serpent, which is called the devil and Satan. Read. And he laid hold on the dragon, uh -huh. that old serpent. The dragon. What color was that dragon? Red. 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 Which means he's what? The nation of Edom. Teach. The nation of Edom is who we're reading about in Revelation 20. Read. Which is the devil uh -huh. and Satan. And bound him. And did what? And bound him. And made him serve in slavery for how long? A thousand years. The Bible prophesies that the so-called white man must be a slave in Christ's kingdom for a thousand years. Right. But you can only receive that slave as one of your own if you repent and keep God's commandments. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all you get. And the white man gets a thousand years. Give me Obadiah. And we're going to go ahead and finish him off after that. He get a thousand years and he's finished. That's it. Give me that. Verse 18. Obadiah. Verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph of flame. Uh -huh. And the house of Esau. The house of Esau, which is that great red dragon, which is called the, the devil and Satan. Read. For stubble. And they shall kindle in them uh -huh. and devour them. We're going to devour this so-called white man that came up and spoke against the prophets. Read. And there shall not be any remaining. It's going to be two remaining. There shall not be any remaining. So we ain't, ain't going to get down like King Saul and, and save one of them. Nah. The scripture says there shall not remain any. Read. Of the house of Esau. None of the house of Esau. Esau, you're done. You're finished. Your time is up. Read. For the Lord has spoken it. And once the Lord said it, that's it. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.